Hello friends, uh, welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about certificate course in climate risk and sustainable finance, uh, which is offered by Indian Institute of Banking and Finance in collaboration with IFC. This particular course is the advanced version. So basically there are two courses. One is the certificate course and second is the advanced course. Before I give you details of advanced uh, course, let me tell you that I have already completed this particular course and you can see here that um, I have done this on 17th February. Now this course has been launched recently uh, just in the month of February. Now, the first thing that you need to know about this course is that it's a self-paced e-learning management system uh, through which you would learn this course. Now what does it mean? It's like a typical e-learning course where you access the course through user ID and password and then learn yourself. You know, so there are videos, there are multiple videos uh, in this advanced course uh, that you need to go through. There are questions also given for practice. And once you have done the entire course, then there is an assessment that you have to undergo to earn the certificate. Now, to earn the certificate, you need to clear the exam for which you require 50% passing marks. So there are 50 questions and you will need to score 25 out of that, right? So the self-paced e-learning management system, you know, is what is going to be the core of this entire learning. So basically, you don't have any instructor who will be teaching you, you know, one-to-one -one online or you cannot raise your questions and queries online. All those things are not there. It's like, you know, watching my video, YouTube video, through which you... I'm sure have learned many concepts, right? Uh, but this is not on YouTube. This is on, you know, IIBF LMS uh, uh, platform. Now, before I go and uh, talk other aspects of the course, let me tell you that uh, there are two courses offered by IIBF and IFC, as I have already said. The first course is called as Climate Risk and Sustainable Finance Foundation Certification. I have already posted a video on this particular course. You can refer to my channel, um, you know, search for the videos and you will get the details of foundation course. The second course is climate risk and sustainable finance advanced. So in this video, I'm talking about advanced because I've already spoken about the certification course, which is the foundation course in my previous video. Point to be noted here is that unless you have cleared the first course, okay uh, which is the course that you can see here which is the foundation course you cannot write the advanced course so that's a prerequisite kind of now who can write this exam if you are a member of indian institute of banking and finance you can write this exam but if you're not member then also you can write uh, there is a difference in the fee which i will talk in the subsequent slide that you will have to pay uh, you need to be just 12th standard pass in any discipline or it's equivalent to write this exam. Now, why this exam is important? Well, as far as members are concerned, you know, they are banks, they are a similar kind of entity. They will use it on the job uh, for various purposes, including, you know, uh, the increasing use of uh, climate related factors in uh, lending and other decisions. But if you are not a banker and if you want to learn climate uh, risk climate financing or broader concepts of ESG then I think this is a decent course that takes you through various aspects of ESG both the courses I mean I mean the certificate course also and the advanced course also right now the next thing which is very important is that what is the fee so if you are a member you need to pay 1100 rupees and if you are not a member then you will have to pay 1600 rupees. Now this 1100 is the fees. Upon this, you will have to pay a GST also and some convenience fee which is separate. So you can safely assume that uh, you will pay around 2000 rupees if you are not a member and around 1300 rupees if you are a member, right? Now, uh, I mean, if you look at cost, then the cost is really low. 
because 1300 and uh, 2000 rupees if you have to spare to learn something new i think it's worth it right and now having said that you know what could be the medium of exam because many people uh, wonder uh, whether they will be taught in their language which is maybe in uh, tamil telugu marathi punjabi no you will only learn it in english uh, you know because uh, uh, courses on climate finance uh, still uh, are evolving and regional language courses are very few on that so english uh, uh, being the language you have to you know uh, undergo the entire course in english uh, question paper will contain objective type multiple choice question for 50 marks so you will get uh, one question with four options and some question uh, some uh, questions have only one option to select but in some questions you may be given four options and asked which of the four are true right so maybe uh, the option could be one and two are true one two and three are true uh, or maybe you know all are true right you will you will get such questions also uh, the duration of the exam will be 60 minutes and there will be a, a clock uh, which will be there uh, which will show you the time so you can accordingly plan right what's the next thing to know is that uh, if you want to write either the certificate course or the advanced course you can register for the exam anytime which means what you have to do is that you have to go and apply for registration i will talk about it going forward once you have applied for the registration you will get x number of days which is precisely 60 days from the date of registration that you need to write the exam which means suppose you uh, enroll yourself on 1st March then probably you will get time till uh, you know 30th April or 1st May within which you must complete the course and let me tell you this is my experience because I have cleared both certificate and advanced course it's very much doable you need to spend maybe you know half an hour one hour kind of a time keep a copy and uh, pen with you and uh, use that for uh, you know making relevant notes that will help you uh, prepare for the exam uh, you know in a much more organized or systematic way having said this next question is how to apply okay so application for self paced e learning should be registered online by paying requisite fee from institute's website which is iibf.org.in after successful registration and this is only for those people who are not registered as yet if you are registered then there is no such requirement so those people who are registered can straight away go and apply for uh, this particular course i will show how but in case you are not registered then you need to register after successful registration candidates will receive login credentials for lms in their email within 24 hours so once you register you know you will receive an email non members applying for institute examination courses are required to attach submit any of the following documents containing name photo signature at the time of registration for the examination application application without the same shall be liable to be rejected okay so uh, this is something which you are required to produce uh, before you you know become eligible to write the exam so that's like a registration process that you have those who are already registered can ignore this particular thing uh, how to register candidate will be required to register for each certification which is your um, you know the basic level or the foundation level uh, and you will have to pay fees twice so you saw in the previous slide there was a fees of 1100 and there was a fees of 1600 so you have to pay both of them okay uh, and then you can write uh, this uh, foundation and uh, followed by that advanced course right um, uh, institute uh, has uh, already uh, notified the advanced date this is something which they have in their brochure but they have notified uh, that advanced certificate is now available uh, course is now available and that's the reason i could do it you would have seen already that now the next thing is that uh, you where will you go and you know uh, get yourself registered right so i have given the url for your reference okay and you, if you give the url as mentioned on the top uh, you will be able to register yourself right that this will help you to register next thing 
what is the passing criteria which is what everybody would be interested in so you need to score 25 out of 50 there is no negative marking so that makes the job slightly easier uh, the next one is uh, what are the rules that you have which you need to follow so uh, you will be provided only one attempt which means if you cannot clear in one attempt then next time you'll have to re-register okay uh, you will get a password which will be provided by the institute to write the exam candidates shall not be allowed to use keyboard or switch tabs during the final exam so final exam everything is disabled because they will give you a software you will have to download the software and write the exam so software automatically takes care of that part uh, <clears throat> what are the objectives you know why should uh, you go uh, and um, study which is what is most important thing uh, so um, climate risk and sustainable finance certificate it is intended to provide a foundational and advanced orientation knowledge on banking and finance fraternity in India on two in objectives of climate risk and sustainable finance now going forward uh, sustainable finance is going to be very important right uh, because banks have already introduced green deposits banks have become very very cautious about giving loans to sectors uh, which may cause environmental social or governance issues right so that's the reason you need to have knowledge about this especially the climate part because environmental factors are very critical so this course will help you there uh, what is the syllabus of the course so this is one uh, this syllabus that you see is for foundation so if you have not done foundation you need to first do this so you can see the first module is climate change and introduction so we'll learn about climate change in detail the second module is transition towards greener financing a, pri uh, a primer right now this is something which you will uh, cover in or you will undergo uh, uh, the learnings related to all these topics in the foundation when it comes to advanced in advanced climate risk management for financial institutions and various types of risks uh, what is the role of central bank how the uh, standards are coming then you have climate related disclosures and reporting the sasb tcft gri you know many other initiatives uh, taken in india also brsr and all that is their part of this entire uh, module and it's very interesting let me tell you uh, you will learn a lot if you are interested in uh, climate uh, um, you know related risks and financing uh, which is emerging the next uh, thing that you must know is that you will uh, receive a result okay uh, uh, which is uh, what will come in your uh, login id password once you have completed but that will be a provisional certificate as i have shown, shown you in the first slide uh, the final certificate will be sent by the institute to your email id right and the certificate is from iibf and ifc something that i've told you earlier where to log in how is the is it that lms system will look like so lms uh, will look like the lms page will look like this uh, where you can log in and learn right now i thought of sharing some uh, you know key aspects with you but I'm sure you still will have questions. Uh, please do not hesitate to ask that. Uh, I have given my email ID and I have kept the comment also open so that anybody can, you know, uh, come and comment and ask questions. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you for your valuable time.